So we are a social enterprise called Nature Bathing. And today we'll be talking about uh, three things mainly. So um, perhaps you already see in the advertisement or in the poster. So we'll be talking about uh, the healing power of nature, the introduction and a bit of the science behind how it works and uh, who is it for. And also the second thing will be, um, sorry, uh, why we should leverage uh, nature healing because it's a free and instant way to help us to relieve our stress, to boost our immunity. So in other words, it's good for our mental health as well as uh, for our physical health. And uh, most important of all, maybe it's the most curious uh, part of for you as well, is how to uh, do it. So we'll be introducing four simple activities for you to do it daily. And there will be a short online direct experience. And the last uh, but not least will be the Q&A. So feel free to uh, voice out any questions or comments in the chat box or just uh, open your audio and say. Um, so today's speaker will be uh, two of us from the Nature Bathing team. So I myself is uh, Tracy is the co-founder and we founded Nature Bathing uh, four years, four to five years ago when I met uh, William occasionally in a social enterprise uh, course. So uh, myself has the privilege to represent Hong Kong to visit Antarctica when I was still a student. So um, I had the chance to witness the uh, climate change and then uh, avalanche and also seeing some penguins, seeing some killer whales and it really changed uh, the path of my life, uh, wanting to devote myself to the environment. And I start to think of how to move people to love the environment more, other than using the scientific way or the academic way. Is there a way for people to build affection and truly fall in love with nature? And that's why I founded uh, Nature Bathing. And previously I was studying in Hong Kong U on uh, ecology and biodiversity. And I also provided innovation training and large scale programs to uh, corporates and government departments. And uh, my partner, he here, William, uh, with the background of the forest already. So uh, he is the founder and chief trainer of Nature Bathing. And actually he is the certified um, forest therapy guide and he has so, ma so many experience in needing nature education for over 20 years. And he's uh, currently a guest lecturer in uh, early child education, a registered social worker, a wilderness uh, first aid instructor. So any one of you, if you are interested in the first aid courses, you can uh, private message him. And he's also uh, served uh, over 300 schools, uh, different uh, companies and NGOs, and also uh, leading private tours. And I, I know William is also the father of two girls. So uh, maybe the two girls is just outside his room. And uh, uh, for now, we have already served over 4,000 people, helping them to de-stress with nature and also using a uh, methodology called the nature bathing play. And, um, uh, around 90% of them saying that uh, usually after the program, they feel more happy, they have a, a fewer stress and they feel uh, more relaxed. And this is uh, some of the clients, uh, corporates, NGOs and other uh, companies or uh, corporations that we have been working with. And uh, some of our signature programs or instead of saying it's our program, I would say that there are a large range of programs or events that can be held in nature. So it can be some uh, wellness programs for um, corporate uh, employees to uh, for retreats or for a day of re relaxing or for team building. And also um, can be a nature inclusive program in uh, going into the forest, exploring with different uh, volunteers or underprivileged families or uh, other uh, needy groups. And we also work uh, under the pandemic because there is uh, no way to go into nature just uh, one week ago we're still stuck at home right so uh, we did some online nature uh, wellness programs and also um, why we started uh, nature bathing uh, at the very beginning is to, uh, to uh, be aware of the stress problem of secondary school students so uh, we really felt happy to be uh, organizing like a school picnic event it's a nature well-being day and to scale up our impact we also train uh, train different trainers like training like kindergarten teachers or training uh, other people to empower them to actually lead this kind of uh, nature healing programs and also some uh, nature experience for mentally and physically disabled children so I, I I prefer not to go into the details here, but we can chat more after the program today. And uh, for now, I'll be handing uh, the introduction to William, and uh, perhaps Benita can help us to launch the polling one. Thank you, Tracy, and uh, nice to meet you. I'm William, and I would uh, first of all say hello to everyone individually, like Minnie, 
Luisa, Fan, uh, Koyi, Fred, uh, Stephen, Marilyn, and uh, Lawrence, thank you very much for, for joining us. Uh, I, be, before the polling start, I would say something more. Uh, there was a research uh, uh, this is, uh, announced recently. Uh, since uh, in, from uh, January to February, there are about 75% uh, of the Hong Kong citizen is uh, having the, the, the depressed uh, health problem. And we really concerned about the situation. And we also uh, want to promote uh, nature healing to the Hong Kong citizen. So thank you for uh, joining us tonight. So uh, about the mental health, we have a polling. So uh, I see some of you are starting already. So the first question is, what is your stress level in the past month? So five is a maximum, like uh, really terrible. And the uh, one is, okay, I'm go, um, I'm, I'm so far very okay, so don't worry about me. And we also have the second question, which is, uh, uh, any aspect of your life has been affected by the pandemic? So could, could they click all of them? No more than one aspect or all? So as we have uh, about one, two, three, four, five, two, four, six, uh, eight, eight uh, participants tonight, and uh, we have a hundred percent answer already. So we can see the answer through the polling. Uh, quite good. So it's manageable stress. That means uh, so far so good. And a few of us is okay and uh, not really okay. So this is quite fair. And the second question is uh, so, so any. Uh, parts affected by the pandemic, work, physical health, mental health, family, social life, or more. So this is what right here uh, uh, among us are uh, the situation. But uh, compared to the situation of the most of the Hong Kong citizens, seems we are better than the most uh, big part of the number of people. And uh, last question, uh, I would uh, like to invite you to answer in the chat room. So when was the last time you were in the late chair? So what is the definition of late chair? Please define by yourself. So when was the last time you were in the late chair? So please uh, click in the chat room if you're available. Sunday, Benita. Twin Wood Reservoir. Monday. Not as lying, really. Maryland, last week. So as you may see, there are many Hong Kong citizens going to the nature park or any green song in the, uh, in the Hong Kong. But that, does it mean do they really have the collection with the nature or do they feel uh, relaxed in the nature? So we would invite you to enjoy the nature at home. So there is a, a game to uh, enjoy together, which is called Nature Sun Map uh, as an exercise to play together. And we are going to uh, start a, a sun track, which is uh, with some nature suns, but we are not going to tell you what are they. So you may focus about one minute. If you want to close your eyes, it's uh, really welcome. And please focus on how many nature sun you can count. Uh, for the listening. So may I have uh, Tracy to start with?
has uh, a very short uh, moment for the nature sun. And after the nature sun exercise, I will ask you how many kind of the nature elements with the sun that you can hear. So anything like you can type in the chat room or even you can uh, switch on the microphone to, to talk together as we don't have uh, many people here. So I immediately say uh, water birds, anything else? Okay, the frogs. Okay, anything else? Dovin, I, I saw you were very focusing and you can hear the dovin, insects. For today, we, uh, we have done uh, a talk with the Form 3 students. And there was uh, one student saying, I can hear the freedom. So different people have different feelings about the nature sun. And, and according to the research, the people say the nature sun could make them feel more relaxing and feel free. Uh, they can just put down their burden uh, on the shoulder. So what about you? What do you feel? after the nature sun map. So if you type about uh, four in the uh, stress level, after the nature sun map, do you feel a bit better? And uh, Tracy, is it the next page? So what is your stress uh, yeah. level now? So after the a very short exercise. Is one being the lowest? Yes. yes. Okay. So I uh, just uh, for all of the participants, just let you know, the organizers and our teammate are just Tracy and Veleta and me, and the others are from the public. Just let you know. And uh, so we can see they are not our teammates and their answer is a bit lower uh, uh, after the nature sun map. Uh, is about the science background. Uh, the nature sun map or even the all uh, the, uh, the sensitive fulfilling can, could make us uh, relax our stress. So uh, just like uh, what we mentioned, uh, we, uh, find the nature bathing uh, about four and a half years ago. So what was happening to uh, encourage us to, to start the nature bathing? And uh, about four and a half years ago, there were many news about the youth and even the children, like eight years old. Uh, one of the news, they are uh, jumping from the very high level of the building, or even they, they just have no hope. They just want to kill themselves. And, but when I was young, I was a, a, a kid, I just, just go to the nature and play with myself or with my friends freely. I don't need to think so much things, not about the suicide or killing myself. Maybe I have hope to my life. Maybe I don't have anything, but I just feel free. I just want to go anywhere. I just want to play. But for the uh, children and youth nowadays, they have no hope in Hong Kong. And the situation is going worse and worse after we find nature bathing. So we see the situation is serious and we are thinking how can we provide a very efficient, uh, sorry, effective uh, uh, way to support them. Uh, and we believe the, the nature is a really good way to uh, help them. So even not about the children and youth uh, to the workforce in Hong Kong, uh, sometimes we didn't pay attention to them, but uh, it's like the one hundred one million and seven seven thousand. Uh, sorry, I, I I forget how to how to mention about the numbers in, in English. One point so, seven million. Uh, one point seven million employees are suffering from a emotional disease. So we call it a mental health uh, pandemic, and it's about a, a physical health situation, but more behind is about the mental health situation. So there's uh, so many research like 
uh, one fourth of the workforce are having anxiety and depression symptoms, and one fifth of the middle level staff having the suicide thoughts, and which is seems like common, but is totally not acceptable. This is totally accept uh, not acceptable. And so how do they help themselves? Uh, we see some of the people uh, having a physical and mental, uh, uh, mental uh, sickness, and they use uh, maybe unhealthy way to escape from the stress. Like, wow, we can go out for four people uh, with one table. Let's eat, let's enjoy our party. And then they just keep drinking, eating, even taking drugs or uh, an unhealthy food, or even they just want to hide themselves with some uh, unhealthy ways to escape from the stress. Uh, as a literature buffing, we focus on a situation on the sub-health in the middle. So what is a healthy workforce? Like you can see, uh, they are motivated, they are focused, they're energetic, but if they are going worse, or even the, uh, the worst is, uh, sick and dysfunctional or totally burnt out. So if we find the Hong Kong citizen, they are in the tipping point, like in the sub-health level, they are not going to find a, a professional uh, therapist to, to seek help. Or, or do, do they uh, find out if they need help or not? So maybe <clears throat> nature buffing or the nature could uh, be the way to help them in the tipping point to uh, ask them to, to uh, slightly go back to the uh, healthy workforce level. So what do we do? There are a Harvard study research which mentioned about the 20 minutes nature break can effectively reduce the stress hormones for two to three weeks. So what does it mean? Simply saying is you stay in the nature, do nothing, and then your stress hormone will reduce your happy, happy hormone will go up to make you feel happier, make you feel more energetic. And the uh, uh, situation lasts for two to three weeks, so it's uh, so worth. And we just mentioned about, like uh, Benita said, ah, did you go to the nature? Did you go to the country park recently? If the Hong Kong people go to the nature recently, does it mean they can reduce, reduce the stress? But not really, because they just keep taking the pictures, standing in a very dangerous area, or even they fall down and an uh, un unhappy situation happen, or they just keep listening to music, keep chit chat with their friends loudly, and uh, so many things, but they are not focusing on nature. Compared to the Hong Kong landscape, there are about 75% of green land in Hong Kong. 45% is the country part and about 30% is the, the parks right here. For example, you switch on the Google map next to you, you must find a green area next to you. So it's about the 75% of the land, which is the green area. If the green area means nature could be very easy to be uh, approached, actually Hong Kong people is so easy and feel free to ask the nature to help them. But it seems like they are not really recognize uh, the benefit of nature. So what is the benefit of nature? Uh, we uh, separate into three levels, uh, physiological, mental, and spiritual, sense some link. So the physiological, so uh, we mentioned it uh, slightly and one by one. So for example, the heart rate, uh, a lower, uh, a lower blood pressure, uh, more energetic, uh, better immunity, reduce uh, inflammation. And then about the mental health, so uh, your mood is uh, feeling happier, lower stress, uh, anxiety, depression, anger, everything uh, is, is measured to be lower level. Uh, your focusing uh, is uh, more uh, more uh, increased, and even your productivity is uh, is higher than the before. So you have better memory and creative. So we sometimes uh, ask the students, uh, ask the school to uh, go the nature with the nature buffet, and they can have a better result in the public exam. And when when we even ask the colleagues to to ask the uh, the, the workmates to join us to play in the nature to make them more. 
uh, productivity, earn more money. So we sometimes we use this way to encourage uh, the organization to ask the, their teammates to, to go with us. About the spiritual is some joy, uh, uh, all and more present self-acceptance, which is one way the nature could help all the aspects uh, in maybe four to seven hours. So what is it for, you guess? So our target audience, from how old to how old or even. So any specialists, uh, are they uh, okay to join our program? The answer is anyone. So uh, our youngest uh, participant is about six months holding together with the mom. And the uh, oldest maybe is close to the 90, 90 years old. Uh, with the uh, 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 sorry, uh, anyone know about the, the term of the, the you mean the, dementia, right? Dementia, like uh, dementia, the, thank you, yeah. dementia with the dementia. And our biggest number of the participant is 230. And we also, uh, just like Tracy mentioned, so uh, no matter the middle level of the um. Uh, mentally retarded or mentally illness or with the blind, uh, deaf or the physically handicapped people, anyone, if we can help them to solve the obstacle to go to the nature, anyone like nature and anyone can uh, enjoy the nature power. So uh, we have a one uh, 30 seconds clip uh, to uh, share with you. Leo So what are the difference in between going to the nature hiking with friends or going with uh, nature bathing? Uh, what are they doing? So we have uh, one way which is called the nature bathing play. We use the play to enjoy the nature. Uh, according to our experience and also lots of the skills, uh, knowledge to input uh, in, the, in the development about the nature bathing play, uh, we have four steps, which is the uh, differences uh, in between the just going hiking and going with uh, the uh, nature bathing. So four steps, according to the order, the first step is to play, uh, to play uh, nature play, just enjoy. You don't need to ask them to put down the mobile, come and join us, just play. And they will forget something like uh, some embarrassing moment or I forget how to so-so uh, uh, with the others, just play. You don't need to ask for anything. Second one is uh, to sense with the multi-sensory exercise, uh, like a uh, hugging tree, like uh, finding the leaves, uh, like uh, seeing the birds together, enjoying the breeze of the summer. So this is to sense, to make them feel more uh, relaxed. And the third one is uh, one important step which is to be mindful, uh, to slow down, to be quiet, and also to appreciate what you have. So we have some uh, kind of mindful exercise in the nature to let them to uh, connect with the nature, with the people, and with themselves. Uh, last but not least, uh, we have the professional staff, the facilitator, to encourage them to share in the in, as a circle. So uh, to we have I have some feeling, but I don't know how to say. It. So we need a. Uh, guidance, we need a facilitator to help us to uh, consolidate what we want to talk about. So uh, we try to uh, simplify, to share uh, every steps. The lecture play, uh, we will use the play to break the embarrassing moment in between the, the network, the social network. Like uh, we just play, just like what I mentioned, and we push the happy hormones with the nature play. And like you see the right hand side is some uh, the, the secondary school students like from four or five students so at the 
generation, they feel like, oh, I don't want to talk. I don't want to be the first one. I don't want to uh, let the others to focus on me, but we just play and then they just drive. Actually, like the young people, like the children or even adults like you or me, we really want to play. And the second one is the multi-sensory experience. So uh, when we focus on the electronic devices, we focus on the eyes and also the hearing, but we don't. Uh, we, we we may forget the other sensory. So we, if we have a multi-sensory uh, experience, we could uh, slow down ourselves, uh, the the uh, calm down our human nervous system, and uh, slowly step by step to calm down ourselves. And like the first step, so slow down, quiet down, and appreciate. So we offer the uh, thing a long moment, like uh, we invite the participant to walk along slowly, quietly, with the appreciation mood. And we also invite them to uh, take a place, like uh, we are going to mention seat spot, to find a place that you feel uh, pleaceful, you feel comfortable, you feel safe, sit down and you may do nothing or you can think whatever you want. So to restore the uh, attention in their nature. And if they have a very messy mind, a very complicated mind, they have time to fix themselves. And the uh, last one is self-discovery sharing, just like what he is mentioning, uh, encouraged uh, to have a, a life-changing uh, recording. We have some uh, uh, examples like some cases uh, uh, sharing. So there's a uh, one corporate employee. Uh, for him, he just keep working and just let the 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 work atmosphere moving himself day by day. But uh, in the program, uh, we allow him to uh, have a calm down moment for a while, and uh, it's very memorable for himself. It's very important, uh, very rare. And uh, this uh, Friesland, oh, sorry, uh, this marketing director. Uh, actually, we have some some talking. Like uh, the director say, "Oh, we want to have a team building. We supposed to go to the nature and go to have uh, some adventure challenge." So they has she asked the 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 teammate, the contact person, to discuss with us. They don't want to be slow down, quiet down. Uh, they just want to have some uh, exciting challenges, adventures, something like this. But uh, for a long time, uh, sharing and try, or, or we may say pursuing them, uh, maybe you give us a chance and to enjoy the nature like this. And finally, the marketing director say it's a very surprising and delightful team building ex experience. They can have the team building development, but at the same time, all of the staff don't need to have a challenging or a very excited, uh, uh, pushing uh, atmosphere, but they can relax themselves and know the team members uh, at the same time. And we also have some uh, secondary school students, so which is what we really want to focus. Uh, we have the Nature Sun map to uh, ask them to 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 join. The nature sounds like mu music to my ear. I forget about the assignments and the exam and things. I feel angry. So there's a mention from a secondary school uh, to student. And we also serve the uh, ethnic minority uh, uh, group. Uh, there was a uh, one girl, very tall, uh, 170 something, uh, and uh, very quiet. And we asked her to to listen to the sun with the real sun environment, and for three minutes. So everybody closed their eyes, and she uh, was focusing on the natural sun. And uh, I slightly, I opened my eyes. I slightly see her tears, bling bling. Uh, and then when everybody just opened their eyes and uh, she was uh, 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 turning her head and trying to do something like this. And so I, I didn't ask her, oh, are you crying? I didn't say like this, but uh, at the end of the sharing, she uh, tried to share her feelings directly. Uh, she, she said, uh, William, you asked me to close my eyes for three minutes. Three minutes later, when I opened my eyes, 
the world is different. It was very touching to me and uh, it was the most uh, memorable case to me. I didn't do much. I just guide them to enjoy the nature and uh, nature is really the therapist to maybe to, to support him or her. So how can we use the nature to uplift our well-being? Or if we, if we are okay, if you're okay, what we can do to help the others under the pandemic? So we have some suggestion, like first of all, uh, to you, maybe you leave the home after 10 minutes, you can find a nature area. Even you can find a park next to your home. Uh, even you have some uh, plants or uh, next to me, there is a plant. Okay, so this is very close, uh, the nature uh, element to you. And we also have some simple ways for four examples to share with you. And uh, nature walk uh, is also a routine uh, for us to uh, self-care. So uh, after this, what we can do straight away to help ourselves enjoy the nature healing power. The first uh, example to share with you is the nature sign map. So if you listen to the uh, the audio, the audio and uh, the nature sound, it makes you feel better, make you feel more relaxed. What about if you can spare some time to go to the nature, sitting right somewhere that no one next to you, no chit chat sound, no music sound, and you really close your eyes for three minutes and focus on what the nature sound around you, it really uh, push, your, uh, push your mood to, uh, to be happier. So the nature sound map. And the second one is uh, the leaf blessing. May I invite you to take like 30 seconds to see if you can find any leaves next to you. So for example, I have some uh, plants, live plants right here. And I also have some dry leaves right here. So can you try to find any leaves next to you? So which is uh, connected to the program that we are going to share. So see if you can find any. So Luisa, can you find any? Really? No anything? Okay. So anything like dry, very close to the leaf. Hello, Marilyn, long time no see. Hello. Hi, I have leaves at home. Hang on. Hi, let me. So the Stephen, you have the the leaf after uh, behind you, but it's a virtual one. <coughs> I have a real one. My, my <laughs> mother's plant. Okay, what about Valetta? You have a really natural background. Can you find any real leaf uh, next to you? Uh, no, Koye, you get one. I'm not, not in my room. Okay. Like bread or Lawrence, anything. You, If you are not at home, you are in a public area. Actually, you have uh, a bigger chance to find the leaves because it, right, Hong Kong, everywhere you can find a leaf. So if you have a leaf right here, we encourage the participant or anyone to focus on the leaf with uh, different senses, like the eyes, ears, nose, or if it's possible, use the, the tasting and to, to, to sense and even the touching. So maybe step by step, First of all, you use the hand to feel every area of the leaf next to you. So uh, Luisa or anyone, if you don't have the leaf right here, you can try to focus on the participant's uh, reaction or the feeling. So is, is it smooth or rough, heavy or light, hard or soft? Uh, is it a... Uh, is a spark, sparkle, is it? And if you focus on the touching, you may see, oh, there's a, something special I can find. What about the, the seeing? So you can see from the top of the leaf, oh, there are so many details. And for mine is one leaf here. 
So I share with those uh, without the, the uh, leaf right here. So actually, this is one leaf. This is one leaf. Oh, thank you, Tracy. This is one leaf. And I can see the details. So try to share with you. Okay, so what about yours? Can you find any interesting uh, thing from seeing? Any details which is uh, maybe you feel connected to you? And we can use the smell. So you can smell the leaf or some of the leaf, you rub it slightly and then you can smell the leaf. I keep this leaf for, I think, more than three years. Uh, and I, I slightly can smell, can smell something from the leaf. And some of the leaf, actually you can eat, but not here maybe. And uh, the fourth, fourth feeling is, uh, the, the fifth feeling is to hear. So can you try to rub it and you can hear something interesting to you. And actually we have the sixth uh, feeling, which is a sixth, sixth sense, which is your feeling. So after the five senses to sense uh, this tiny little leaf, what is your feeling to it? So I would uh, invite any one of you to share any interesting finding that use uh, different senses to, to try to, to feel, to connect with something that supposed to be close to you, but any new finding that are uh, using the, the multi-sensory. So you may type in the chat room if you want, or even uh, for those uh, without the uh, leaves, uh, trying uh, anything you can share anytime. So uh, you can uh, switch on the mobile phone, okay? You can tap in the chat room. And now uh, while we are uh, welcoming all the uh, participants to try to type something, any the any new finding or any feeling that you can feel. So may I uh, go back to the PowerPoint, uh, please, Tracy? So the leaf blessing is like, oh, what are we doing? But when we are at home, or also maybe say, uh, mine is purple dry flowers and I can smell a little bit. I didn't re realize a leaf so much has a very detailed. Uh, Marilyn say, so small. When we try to, uh, the texture, rough and the temperature wow even the the leaf you can feel the temperature the leaves are smooth so if you have the feelings on the sensory and even with no leaf in this room now i can strongly imagine the smooth feeling of leaves even if so uh luisa say the feeling so after the the so sensory uh, in touch with the leaf. What about your feeling? So any feeling about the nature or the leaf after touching, watching, listening, or even tasting, smelling, any feeling that you would like to share? Any finding? I could treasure. Thank you, Koyi. Wow, then say, uh, I feel like. Like it's the first time I've actually really looked at a leaf. True. So even like this, this is about three years, a uh, uh, long time I didn't pay attention on the leaf. So the, uh, Luisa say the feeling is a refreshing and the green of the little leaves uh, right now is energizing. So the leaf blessing, if the people seeing us Focusing on leaf, maybe it's weird, but for the people doing the leaf blessing, actually, they're enjoying their own world, enjoying their own feeling. We don't really need to care about what they're feeling. I, we don't know them. Okay, but we, I feel good. See, even you feel the life, you feel the energy of the leaf. Thank you, thank, thank you very much. And what about the third 
uh, exercise that we will share. So like uh, just a, a backup, a, a quote from uh, Van Gogh. If you truly love the nature, you will feel, uh, you will find the beauty everywhere. So this is what we are uh, doing uh, in the nature bathing. So if we could encourage, we could guide the, the participant to enjoy the nature, they can find everywhere uh, the beauty uh, in their life. So this is what we are doing. And the third exercise is six spot that I mentioned like uh, uh, 10 minutes ago. Six spot is you find some area, you find one area to sit down, even stand up, even knee down or lay down. And you feel safe, you feel peaceful, you feel comfortable. You can do anything, nothing. You can think of nothing. You can think of anything. But right here, C spot, according to the scientific uh, background and survey, which saying you will relax yourself. And you can imagine, so just, I just want to do nothing. Sit down right here. Uh, if you think that the girl standing in the middle of the path, the nature trail is, is not your cup of tea, maybe you can try the lady sitting in the park, uh, watching the newspaper or do nothing. And the main point is, please don't focus on your mobile phone because the mobile phone have too much information to affect you. So try to put down everything. Sea spot, sun map, depressing, do nothing. So sea spot is really good way for you. If you have time uh, for five minutes, really good. If you're waiting for the bus, mini bus, taxi, have a sea spot, do nothing. Just wait, but look at the tree, do nothing. Look at the birds, do nothing. If you have 20 minutes or 30 minutes sitting in a nature in a sea spot and the science say that your hormone is getting lower, the, your stress hormone is getting lower and lower, last for two to three weeks. And the uh, fourth one is the tree hugs. Uh, it's very popular and uh, uh, encouraged by the Korea and the Israel government. So in the pandemic uh, situation, uh, everybody are in a lockdown situation. So they have to stay at home and don't, don't get connect uh, with the others. So the government, no matter from uh, Korea or Israel, they encourage the uh, uh, citizens to hug the tree, to feel you are not alone. Or some of the uh, energy uh, therapies, they say that the tree can give you the energy. So uh, as a nature buffing, uh, according to science, the hugging a tree could make you feel more relaxing. So this is what we really encourage you to try. Some of the people say, wow, what are you doing, a weird guy? <laughs> don't, don't pay attention to them. Uh, have a try. So nature is a uh, part of our life and we are part of nature. If you get into nature, I don't think it's uh, uh, a real thing. Just maybe they are real. So uh, we have the last three takeaways. The first one is the nature healing is really effective and good for our well-being, and uh, it's easier to do it by ourselves. Self-care. Uh, if we are okay. Please bring your friend, your beloved one, family, friends, your colleagues, or anyone who is suffering to go to the nature together. And the uh, third one is uh, sharing with uh, Stephen Hawking. When there's life, there's hope. So when we are still having a life, uh, if you think the nature is helpful, maybe we can enjoy our life, enjoy the beauty, and we have hope. We are okay, we share the hope together with the, the one next to us. So may I uh, pass to the Tracy, please? Thank you, thank you, William. Um, yeah, so we are mentioning about uh, how we can use nature as a self-care uh, tool or approach. And I noticed that uh, maybe in the group, 
today we are having we are more privileged because we are more well off in the sense of uh, mental health. We are usually uh, having manageable stress or uh, maybe after the sound map or on a Friday night, you feel relatively okay. But um, uh, out there, there are actually a lot of people who are stressing out because of uh, different problems and uh, they can be students, they can be adults, they can be other uh, underprivileged groups. So uh, over the past four years, we have been uh, developing a lot of different programs um, to see how we can really leverage the power of nature to help different peoples. Like we organize like workshops, um, like nature retreats and develop uh, even team building. And uh, honestly, actually in the first or second year, people won't believe that uh, there is this kind of nature team building program. They just cannot imagine or they, they just don't know how it would work. But uh, anyway, we, we do it and uh, we're still doing it. And uh, apart from that, uh, there is this seminar um, uh, for students or for adults that uh, we actually did one for 200 uh, students this afternoon. So uh, the Aster only have 30 minutes and he wants us to, okay, make my students de-stress and make the magic. And uh, yeah, we did it anyway. And we try our best uh, using like nature sound map or uh, multi-sensory experience like uh, using the leaf. And actually we were using fruits, uh, inviting them to use their five senses to feel the fruits and eat it uh, during lunchtime today. So uh, different kinds of seminars. And we also work with uh, um, NGOs and corporates to do uh, inclusive programs in nature. And also uh, last but not least is the train the trainer program. And we are very happy to co-create if you uh, want to uh, join our movement. Maybe you can start from your everyday life using nature to heal yourself and to help other people. And if uh, you have an organization or you work with uh, underprivileged group, uh, feel free to approach us or uh, just uh, send us an email or grab a coffee and we are happy to co-create. <clears throat> uh, William, you want to do the wrap-up? Um, I was a very stressful person and uh, I was unemployed for more than two years and the nature ha uh, healed me and I believe the nature power. So I wish uh, we could uh, share the lecture with you and uh, just like what Tracy say, uh, join us uh, to uh, promote the lecture, uh, uh, help the people, help yourself. Thank you very much. Thank you. And last but not least, we have a survey. And if you can just uh, uh, maybe check out your phone or enter this link, uh, just uh, give us some feedback because uh, we've been actually doing a lot of these talks, uh, uh, especially during the pandemic. So uh, in early April, we did a talk for uh, parents and children, especially on how to use nature play to uh, improve children's well-being. because uh, and I know William as a father, he knows this very well because uh, obviously he's shutting the two daughters away from his room now and uh, parents are experiencing so many stress uh, working from home and uh, schools are disrupted and that and uh, we we just keep uh, doing what we believe in even if these talks are for free uh, for for uh, different people uh, we only have maybe one to two hours but we try our very best to um, to promote what we believe in to other people and in the future we want to do more of these talks so uh, let us know what you think and let us know what kind of topics that you are more interested in and see uh, how we can do better uh, next time. And, and also, I think uh, uh, it's uh, Yun Fun. I don't know how to say in English, but uh, it's lucky that we can be uh, in a small circle today. So just feel free to ask any questions because uh, this is a online forest therapy guide right in front of you, right? So just uh, ask us any questions or if you have any comments or even feelings, just feel free uh, to tell us. Yeah, about the survey, we really wish if uh, we could have your comments. Uh, so uh, uh, before leaving, so uh, could we once again invite you to do the survey. At the same time, uh, we could have any Q&A uh, or sharing anything that you we can talk about in this Friday light. So William, I have a, just a comment. I think uh, what you guys do with the force therapy is very interesting. It's uh, slightly different from what we do here at Encompass. Encompass, we do the eco tour, uh, more looking at biodiversity, looking at animal uh, birds. But I think your, I, I really like your leaf exercise. I think uh, to uh, ask people to use different senses to sense nature, which that's not something that we usually do in our eco tour. 
So I think we, we are both in the nature, but uh, in a different angle. Agree, and we are not rejecting this way. The really uh, uh, like the sign, uh, the eco tour or adventure, we are not rejecting, we are not uh, competing with the others. So just like the people now going to uh, the country part, so if you see some of them are very noisy, uh, rude to their wild animals, but at least they have the sense to go to nature first. They may feel the nature could make them feel better. And maybe they need some ways, no matter uh, the encompass way, nature buffing way, or the other way to educate or to let them know what they can help them much more better. I think uh, from what I experienced, I think nature bathing in the last two, three years may be more popular. But I think uh, p uh, before a lot of people have misunderstanding what is the what is forest bathing? Uh, how is it different from me? Uh, what's the difference between me going to nature and going there with a guide? Can, can you can you give some advice? Mm. Uh, the very simple way is three things. Slow down, quiet down and appreciation. Uh, this is what we try to simplify to 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 promote uh, the knowledge and the background about the forest therapy and actually we are doing the nature healing so uh, i'm the forest therapy guy uh, but actually this the therapeutic uh, therapeutic power is not only from the forest but also the sea or the land or the sky anywhere so a, a little bit different but uh, the to, to answer you is three things, uh, slow down, quiet down, and also the appreciation. So Thank even you. if you uh, do the uh, eco tour, maybe you can try to uh, ask them to focus on the birds uh, without talking for one minute. So maybe, uh, I don't know if they have any different feeling. Thank you. Anybody else? Hi, I have a question. Hello. So I recently um, changed career. So I've become a therapist. So and then I work with like some children and adolescents. And a lot of them are really stressed out. So I really think like I agree with the healing power of nature. But then I can't bring my clients out to to a forest, right? So I was thinking if you have any tips of bringing nature into the therapy room, something easier manage. Thank you, Marilyn. And you've just tried it. And yeah, we've been training. Uh, it's the same. So just like the nature play, we we did the nature play, the lift blessing. And if you see which is a training, which is a therapeutic uh, training, uh, same to the therapist, okay. it's a, ther a therapeutic training to the participant is a play. So we can bring the nature to the, to the home. Please allow me to bring this. So right here, we have a different uh, feather, uh, uh, which is keep at, at my home. And uh, can I have one, one more? And uh, for example, right here. So right here, so different features, different features. So there's nail, nail shell oh. right here. So you can bring any, uh, but the recommendation is real, real nature stuff, not okay. the QQ uh, door or electronic one. So you can bring the nature uh, elements, the the parks, loose parts, plates uh, to, to the uh, therapeutic room uh, with the play therapy is okay. also okay. Just like we have some uh, makeup, Com uh, uh, complex uh, companies, uh, they ask, oh, we want to go, or we ask, uh, we want to ask our uh, teammates to go to the nature, but can you try to let them feel better, like keep their makeup or feel, or there is in the summer, can you make them sweat nothing? So this is their wish, and but they really want to go to nature. If we can solve the obstacle, so we can, for example, we really can Bring them, bring them to a really cool area, enjoy the breeze, one of the way. If we cannot bring them to the nature, we can organize a indoor nature play uh, exercise mm -hmm. 
we have different ways. We can share, we can try it uh, if we have more time. Even online one is also acceptable. But the main point is if they really want to, it, the, the door is really open already. Mm. So this is what Thank uh, you. I just should share. Thank you. Um, I got a question. Um, I, I wonder um, how do you, you know, my friends are my friends are always busy and and no no time for exercising and go to nature. How do I re-persuade them to, uh, you know, enjoy the benefit of nature and just like you persuading the marketing company to um, to have a, uh, a a slow down activity instead of a, a, you know adventurous activity. Uh, we uh, it's a very good question that we are doing. So if we talk to the, the corporates, uh, they really want the teammates to, to earn more. So we use the way to sell them. So you can earn more, bring them to the nature. So uh, to the school, you want, to, you want the, the students to have a better result to benefit your school, trust us, bring them to the nature. If you want the kid, your kid, your daughter, your, your children, to uh, be more smart, to win in the starting line. Go to the nature to enjoy the uh, stimuli and the sensory and uh, how to communicate with others. So focus on what they're looking for. Like your friend, oh, you go to the nature and you can be slimmer, stronger, attract more girls. And you don't need to pay much, just $20 transportation free. And we can chit chat. Ah, that's something I really want to talk to you. Wow, you can see the girls like there are lots of the girls are hiking in the nature nowadays. Let's go to see together, whatever. No matter, lie to them or anyway, bring them to the nature. Once they try it, they cannot go back. So this is what uh, I suggest. I'm, I'm good for your friend. Huh? I'm, I'm not really asking him or her to focus on anything uh, outside of nature. <laughs> Thank you. Actually, I have one way to share as well, because uh, actually I just did it last week. So uh, I went with my friend and he was the stressed one. And I told him that I, I am the stressed one. And please accompany me, me to go to nature. And I just tracked him into <laughs> sound map and hugging the tree. And then uh, I think he felt better afterwards. So uh, one way is to tell them that I want some company to go to nature and please go with me and it works. So <laughs> just sharing my experience. One more way, uh, Stephen. Uh, don't go to very far away. Don't go with a very long distance, a very tough, challenging, uh, because they feel difficult, difficulty and they feel obstacles in front of them. Like go to the Kow, uh, Kowloon Park, is it? Chim Sha Choi Wan, Kowloon Park. Just chit chat, uh, eat whatever McDonald's or eat any healthy food or a vegetarian or whatever. Have a drink, even a beer right here. Sit in the park, chit chat. And oh, wait, I want to keep quiet for maybe two minutes. I just want to uh, think about something. So, can you keep quiet for two minutes? Whatever. So, it's, uh, there's a lot of way to make the things free and easier. Um, so I got a follow up question. I, I see William, you are a social worker. So do you persuade your clients to, you know, go to nature and, you know, I, I'm studying social work right now. So, so how, how do you persuade them? Or do you, can you share some experience about that? Hey, it's really fun. And, and uh, yeah, it's good for you. So if they are the, the, participant of that NGOs, more or less they may have some needs, like family needs, like the young studies, the school uh, recommend them like SCN, or they have some stress uh, according to a background, they may need help. And uh, their social worker recommend them to go to nature with nature buffet, free, with the funding support. So just feel free to join. Originally, it's very exp ex expensive. Now, we are free for you. So the funding support, go with us. 
So I think more or less uh, is free transportation, maybe some food uh, support, uh, maybe it's uh, a way for to attract them. And welcome to join us, Stephen. Hope to see you in the later, uh, in the very soon. Anyone, yeah. uh, if we have any chit chat, any sharing, any feeling? Can I just ask, uh, do you actually run any regular um, nature bathing walk? Um, I actually had the privilege of um, joining um, one very good one last year, um, uh, organized by the uh, Qisanzi, you know, in Taipo. Yep. Um, I really enjoyed that one. And um, it was a very, very difficult one to participate because I heard that um, that day when they opened the online registration, they were like, they said 80,000 participants trying to get online and I was really lucky. Anyway, um, they, they had two sessions. One was a pre-walk pre uh, talk, which was held indoor. And I can share that um, during that one hour, they actually um, you know, put up a very, very good um, video that video was actually um, showing all the forests and uh, because of the sound and uh, video effect, you know, um, they were able to create um, such a uh, forestry atmosphere, even indoor. And of course they had the very, very professional, um, you know, sound and play effect. And also the, the speaker, I think he, he, he was also like a forest uh, therapist trained one. And then um, the second session we had was we, we were really, really um, you know, lucky to actually go to the backyard or the back garden of the monastery, which was not usually open to the public. And, um, you know, uh, they, they actually uh, guided us uh, through a very, very slow pace uh, to, to give a very, very natural touch with the mother nature. And then we were able to hike trees and um, there were some small paths and that they were showing us uh, all the trees that they were nurturing. And then at the end, um, we actually, uh, every one of us were actually lying down on the ground and uh, sort of took a rest for, I think it was like uh, 10 minutes to really feel the sky. The, of course, you, 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 you don't, I mean, you, you close your eyes, right? But you could feel that the, the sky and the earth were actually above and you know, below you, and then you were you were such a small creature in in nature, and then you had all the uh, the breeze and the birds and all these things. But what I was just saying was, um, does your organization actually run any regular nature bath? Because I'm I'm one of the persons who really enjoy these kind of things. Um, I mean, I I don't know if you only do like uh, on uh, request basis with corporates with schools or you actually uh, do it, uh, I don't know, once a month uh, for the public, uh, which you can, you, you, you would um, sort of um, uh, post it on the social media to let everybody know that so that they can join. And, and sometimes you feel that, you know, if you join with a group of people, although you don't know them, but um, there's things that you can share afterwards. And also um, um, this is a way to actually um, get to know nature, but not by yourself only, but with some, because sometimes you, you, you don't necessarily, you know, with, with friends uh, who, who like nature or they have the time to do it, uh, especially for, 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 for me. I mean, I, I'm like a, a retired person. I, I don't go to work. So sometimes, you know, I find it uh, very, very difficult to go to these, these kind of activities uh, at weekends when there's so many people you know, in the nature park. So, I mean, the, do you do things like that? Uh, the, the, the Buddhism uh, temple, yeah, 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 yeah. Like the center. Yeah, but you don't have to be a religious person. I mean, you don't have to be like, uh, uh, you know, believe in, in, in Buddhism, so. Yeah, I understand. And I know him, Kelvin. He is also uh, a very yeah. professional. Uh, That's right, per, yeah. per, uh, yes, first okay. guy. Uh, I also joined his uh, online one. So I, I know what you were mentioning, the, the video and the sun, uh, sun uh, background. Uh, it's a similar way that we share the nature with uh, slow down, quiet down, and also uh, to appreciate. And this is what we are doing. Uh, but uh, 
according to our business, we have a different business model. Like uh, they are open to the B two C individual uh, public, but to us, we don't have really so many manpower. Uh, we think about it. We really want to do, uh, but we are not really able to do. And also, uh, uh, we the second point is we want to support the needies more. For example, the other privilege, um, maybe the NGOs, they don't really have so uh, much support, uh, so much resources to join. They even don't have our social media. So if we want to focus on them uh, for business, we can have a easy bargaining about the budget. We don't need to answer too much like uh, for one kind of, kind of person only. So uh, in this moment, we don't have much. But uh, after listening to you, we will really talk about it with Tracy. For example, like uh, we have the other ladies in the public, no matter they could have budget or not. And they also want to go to toilet, uh, so not toilet. They want to also go to the nature. And uh, they really have no support with the, back, uh, with the organization behind. They just have this themselves. They really want to join, but uh, no chance. So we think about it. Thank you, Fred.